Sports. Tonight we're finding out just how effective new safety barriers are on the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. And 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcido has brand new encouraging data about suicides on the bridge. It's their most desperate moment. Once they're here on the top of the Skyway, troopers race to talk them down and stop them from taking their life. A few years now, our engineers were working on a way to deter jumpers or would-be jumpers on top of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. This incident caught back in May. A man on a U-Haul stopped traffic at the top of the bridge for hours early in the morning. Florida Highway Patrol troopers were able to talk him down as the sun came up. The whole point of the fencing project was to deter suicides um, and hopefully stop jumpers from the bridge. This jumper had to be strategic to get over the fencing. The barrier essentially buys troopers time to save lives. A trooper can be dispatched up there very quickly. We have pedestrian sensors on top of the bridge that can detect if a car stops and if someone gets out. We also have cameras on top of the bridge. so. The quicker a trooper can get up there to someone in need, the better. The fencing was completed last June. Since the installation, three suicide attempts were successful. 11 people attempted jumping and 85 suicide threats were recorded. The numbers are very low this year, so we're very pleased that it is working as a suicide deterrent. We still have the crisis phones on top of the bridge that link directly with the crisis center, and we still have FHP driving the bridge 24-7 um, a day. So. There's a lot going on in the bridge. We just want to make sure that people know that there's help, especially during their time of need. Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay. The project cost just over three million dollars. FDOT says engineers from across the country have reached out to learn from their success.